I made an e-paper display that changes photos once per day and with the battery charge that will last four years. A couple of months ago, I bought my first e-reader, a Kindle, and I thought the ink display was just awesome. So I looked into it and learned how it works. It works with these tiny ink capsules that have charged ink blobs in them and the screen will apply a charge to it and depending on the charge a certain amount of white or black capsules will float to the top and they'll just remain there so if you cut power to the display after the ink blobs are there the image will remain this results in a low power display i've had my kindle last up to two months on one charge i also run a laptop as a server in my home running home assistant to control the lights and various automations in my smart home and I also host Nextcloud, which is basically a Google Drive. And inside that, I have a photo repository. My idea is to build a ink picture frame, similar to this digital picture frame, except for it uses the e-paper display and it is powered by battery instead of having to be plugged into an outlet. And the display will pull images from my server once per day. My Kindle Basic has a six inch display with 300 pixels per inch. Waveshare sells various different types of ink displays. You can see they have some colored ones like red, yellow, uh, this one caught my eye. This is just black and white, but it has a uh, 16 gray scale, so it could have 16 different shades of gray. And the displays look pretty good. So when I calculated out the pixels per inch, it came out to be 225, which since this will be a picture frame on the wall, and my not looking at it as close as I'm looking at a Kindle, I can afford less pixels per inch. The display also comes with a driver board and I need something to interface with this driver board to communicate to the display and it communicates over SPI. So I found this development board uses an ESP32 and it meets the requirement for it to be ultra low power when in deep sleep. And this can use Wi-Fi to pull the images from my server. In KiCad I designed a PCB to hook everything together. The Tino Pico interfaces with the driver board through this header, through SPI, and the Tiny Pico also controls power to the driver board. Uh, so it, when it is in deep sleep mode, it can cut power to the driver board and power won't be wasted there. Note that on this first draft, I forgot a pull down resistor on the enable five volts line and the polarity was backwards on the battery header. The PCB I created is fairly small, it's just a two layer board. I ordered my parts and they came in and then I assembled it, soldered my board together, uh, ordered a shadow box picture frame, replaced the glass and hot glued the screen on. If you notice, I soldered two of those green wires from my ESP board onto the screw hinges of the picture frame, which I will explain later. I planned out how my code would work and I'll explain it in a top down level approach where I'll start with the server and then work my way down to the ink display. I also host via Linux container home assistant and I also host an MQTT server and I use these to select what photos to send to the e-ink display. So in a separate Linux container I created a service that listens to the MQTT service for specific commands and will select a random photo. As you see, I had the pull command here, and then when I do a push, it will convert it to grayscale. And you can briefly see the image here in binary format. I use an open source software, ImageMagick, to convert all my images. So I use this to convert into grayscale into a PGM format, and you can use it in command line. I convert the image to PGM format. PGM format is a bitmap, and you have this header and then you have a bunch of binary data and each byte represents a pixel. However, since I have a 16 grayscale display, every pixel can be represented in four bits. And so what I can do is compress the data and have one byte hold two pixels worth of information. 
I wrote a simple C program to do this, to strip the header and to compress the data. I then created a TCP server that will constantly listen to connect to the ESP board and when a connection is made will automatically transfer over this compressed format. I used the ESP IDF or the Espressive IoT Development Framework to write code for the ESP board and it works by using a version of FreeRTOS that supports dual core ESP targets. My code works by having a task that is the TCP client in queue data it receives from the server and then at the same time there's a task that dequeues the data and writes it through SBI to the driver board. And you can see that SBI transfers the data at a slower data rate than the Wi-Fi. Once the image is updated, the SP board will be put into deep sleep mode and cut power to the driver board. The SP board will wake up from deep sleep through two different types of interrupts. One interrupt is a timer interrupt, which will wake up once per day. And the other interrupt is a touch interrupt, where if I touch one of the screws on the hinge, it will wake up from deep sleep and pull another image. So I can have the e-ink display refresh automatically once per day or refresh when I gently touch the screw on the outside of the frame. I'm happy with the results. As you can see, Honest Abe looks great. And now it will switch to the Great Wave of Kanagawa, which also looks great. The grayscale does a better job on certain images. Unfortunately, my camera wasn't very good and wasn't focused exactly on the frame, but you can tell that it's able to achieve high detail. So this last image is an actual picture and as you can see that on the background when there's a gradient it gets kind of funky sometimes and as I made this display for just my normal pictures I take on my phone uh, you can see it does a pretty good job although pulling images of movie posters and comics and newspaper as such uh, looks better but we can just say it's an art style. Thanks for watching.